this is H.C. Bailey, and I don't want to jump off a cliff on Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII. We'll walk around instead. Yeah, if you take the cliff down there, you lose points on your exam for recklessness or something. I mean, hey, you might you might have taken fall damage. I mean, they're trying to make Final Fantasy more realistic, you know. Who knows? Um, by the way, um, I'm going to go through the dialogue a little quickly here because this is a pretty long scene and I want to really try to get this in one episode here. So, Yeah, and make sure to equip Selfie with uh, Cypher's GF and she has all of his magic, so it, it just automatically transferred to him. Wow, your tower is so big. Whoa. Oh. Hey, Cypher. Uh, message for you, sir. Or not. Maybe we should follow him. Can't stop him, though. I mean, just like the floaty hand of Golbez. Nothing you can do. Uh, I guess he took the elevator up or something. Let's get, the, get this draw point here first. Blind. Give that to Squall there. And we get seven blinds. And let's just take this lift on up there. Thank goodness I didn't run into a random battle here. Awesome. Well, Zell is telling Selfie to calm down? Whoa, I didn't see that one coming. Who are these guys? Oh, it wouldn't be a Final Fantasy game without Biggs and Wedge. Absolutely. That's okay. I guess they're trying to do something with this tower here, but... Sorry, I'm just trying to go through this scene as quickly as I can here. They're, I guess, trying to repair the tower. Something. Did it work? I like how they do the transition to the FMV. That's pretty cool. I like this FMV. Well, it's not there yet, but yeah. See how they did the transition there? That was cool. <laughs> nice one. Kind of reminds me of Goldeneye for some reason. How many satellites do they got on this thing, anyhow? I could walk around there, but whatever. What's that thing? Oh, it's another satellite. We don't have enough satellites. More satellites! More satellites! No, no. Do satellites really have that thing in the center there? Looks like a, a 007 satellite weapon. How many 007 movies have they done with a unrealistic satellite-based weapon? Uh, you didn't answer my question, Biggs. You just kind of changed the subject. Your friends have already been taken care of. Well, we got him trapped now. He's not going to escape unless we just stand there as he's moving out of the way. Cable guy! No, no, just kidding. It's Cypher. Uh, we're kind of enemies and taking the initiative for boss time! Now, Biggs is pretty much uh, the same thing as... What is it? As one of those elite soldiers you might have met up with downstairs. So, uh, but he does have a new spell. So, let's get grab that from him there. Let's see what that one is. It is Asuna. It does what it does in all the other Final Fantasy games. Cures... Almost all status ailments. There we go. Got that. But now let's just uh, stick to physical attacks. I think if you use, uh, like, GFs on the guy, you can't end the battle for some reason. I forget. I, I don't know. But... Whoa! She's got nunchucks for weapons. Man, the ladies in this game got some pretty hot weapons. I mean, it, it couldn't 
possibly get any hotter than that. Now this guy has a machine gun, we have melee weapons, yet we are still going to kick his ass. Yeah, go selfie. Whack him upside the head with nunchucks. Yeah, uh, you see Wedge wouldn't have come along nearly as quickly for some reason if I was using GFs. I don't, I don't know why. No soup for you! No, no, just kidding. No pay this month. Um, now once uh, Wedge shows up there, you want to, uh, what is it? Uh, you want to still focus on Biggs to uh, finish the battle here. You don't want to, don't even bother with Wedge. Uh, Biggs will heal him anyway. Uh, I want to wait for everyone's bars to fill up. There we go. Maybe keep Selfie on standby. There we go. What the hell is that? It's a tornado on a satellite? Or it could be a huge boss monster! Oh crap. Alvarez. Now this guy has Siren. A new GF for us. So sometimes... Uh, well, you have to do that. Sometimes you have to draw your new GFs from bosses there. So that's kind of... Well, I don't know if it's kind of nice, but it does work. So... I may have to edit out a little bit of this boss battle. Let's see, can I get my limit break to pop up there? Oh, hold on! No, attack, attack! There we go. Come on, if, yeah, if you press the circle button over and over again, you can bring up your limit break sometimes if your HP is low enough. And just like Keith just said, hit the R1 button when uh, that bar gets to that middle area there. That's how you use Renzakuken. But I don't want to leave Squall below 200 HP, or he will die. Now, Elbret also has a new spell that I might want to use. So let's have uh, Selfie uh, use that. There we go. Draw, new spell, cast on herself. Now, you might be asking, H.C. Bailey, how do you uh, multi-target spells in this game? Well, you don't exactly. You have a status, or a buff, I guess, called uh, Double, and there's also Triple later in the game, where you don't uh, multi-target spells, but you can cast it multiple times in a single round. No, Zell, attack, Zell, or Selfie, there we go, Renzakuken, and then I want to use a single cure on Squall there. There we go. Trigger, 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 trigger. You see how I'm doing that, viewers? Just keep on hitting R1 like that, and you'll deal a lot of damage. Sometimes Squall will finish with one of his finishing moves, but it's kind of random, so, oh well. I don't think Zell can get his uh, limit break at that HP, but we'll see. Nope, not quite. Oh well. Um, you might want to heal yourself there, Selfie, if you can. There you go. Uh, okay. Oh crap. Uh, no, no, we're still good. We're still good. I was thinking if he hit Zell and then followed up with a Storm Breath, that, that could have been bad. I may or may not be able to show off Zell's limit break. We'll see. But I'll just, you know, keep going all out and see what I can do there. I'll leave Zell on standby just in case if I can get his limit break to go off because I can deal a lot of damage there. Or not. But yeah, let's just uh, keep that going there. I don't think he has an elemental weakness. There we go. Let's see what I got here. Now, Zell's limit break works kind of like, uh, what is it? There we go. Duel. Got it. Let's see. Punch Rush. If I can, you gotta enter command. Mock kick, punch rush. If you do them in a certain order, you can get a finishing move for Zell there. Burning Rave. There we go, we got it in time. You gotta do it within a certain time limit, and then you can, uh, well, execute some moves there. There we go. I don't think that's gonna work too well considering the guy is flying, but you never know deal a lot of damage to the guy. Did we get him? No, not yet. Come on, Renzakuken. There we go. Okay, finish him. Uh, okay, we're good. I might be able to finish him. If not... Oh, well. Let's see what I can do here. Come on, Squall. Got him. Oh, and we get a finishing move. All right. 
skill. A little extra damage there. Oh man, I gotta do another limit break? I'll list the uh, order in which to uh, do the finishing moves for Zell, or at least for the one that we can right now. Did I get it? Yeah, got it. Well, I suppose it's appropriate that that's a finishing move for Zal there. I like how one of his uh, special moves is Booyah! Oh, if that doesn't finish him. Yeah, we got him. But what about this communication power? What are they up to? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.